Are you tired of lag, stutters, and low FPS in Fortnite on your budget PC? Well, this Fortnite FPS guide helped me hit 240 plus FPS even on low-end hardware. In this video, I'll show you every step I use to boost FPS, reduce input delay, and get the smoothest gameplay. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Step 1. Make Windows run faster for Fortnite on budget PCs. To make Windows work better while you play, we need to turn off some visual effects. First, click on the Windows search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click the result that shows up. A window called Performance Options will open. In this window, choose the option that says, Adjust for best performance. This turns off all the fancy visual effects so your computer runs faster. If you still want your screen to look a little nicer, you can turn these two options back on. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This makes text look cleaner and easier to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This shows a small preview of images and videos instead of just icons. After you pick your settings, click Apply to save them. Now click on the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This setting gives more power to the programs you use, like Fortnite, instead of background apps. Then click OK to save and close everything. These settings will help your PC run faster, lower lag, and make Fortnite load and work better. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Use Chris Titus Tech Utility to speed up Windows for Fortnite on budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your windows faster and stop background programs you don't need, we'll use a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool turns off useless background apps and reduces CPU usage. First, open your FPS boost pack and find the text file with a special command in it. Open that file and copy the full line of code. Now go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as administrator. When the PowerShell window opens, paste the code you copied and press Enter. This will open the Chris Titus Tech Utility tool. When the tool opens, click on the Tweaks tab. You'll see different preset options to boost performance. Minimal preset. This removes extra features but keeps important ones working. Standard preset. This gives even more performance by turning off more background programs. Before anything is changed, the tool will automatically create a system restore point, so you can go back if something doesn't work right. After you pick your preset, click Run Tweaks and wait for it to finish. Then close the tool. These changes stop unneeded background tasks, reduce CPU load, and help Fortnite run better on weaker PCs. Step 3. Make Fortnite use CPU better with Run with Affinity. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To help Fortnite use your CPU more efficiently, we'll use a tool called Run with Affinity. This tool lets you pick which CPU cores Fortnite should use so the game runs smoother. Open the Run with Affinity tool. You don't need to install it. Once it's open, find and select the fortnitelauncher.exe file. After you select it, change the affinity setting to the highest number you can. This makes Fortnite use your strongest CPU cores. Also, change the run setting to maximized. This will open the game in full performance mode. After that, use the tool to create a shortcut. This shortcut will let you open Fortnite every time with these settings. These changes will lower FPS drops and stuttering, especially when the game gets intense on a low-end PC. Step 4. Use NVIDIA Profile Inspector to boost Fortnite FPS on budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. If your PC has an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to increase FPS and lower input delay. This tool gives access to hidden settings you can't find in the normal NVIDIA control panel. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and use the search bar at the top to look for Fortnite. If you downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can load it. If not, follow the steps below to change the settings manually. First, go to the anti-aliasing section. Change transparency super sampling to 0x tetra 0 triple 0 8. Next, go to the texture filtering section and do this. Turn off driver controlled LOD, set both LOD bias DX and LOD bias OGL to plus 3. These settings reduce small details like shadows and grass, which helps increase FPS. Now change these settings. Negative LOD. D bias to clamp texture filtering. Quality to high quality. Finally, go to power management mode and set it to optimal performance. This helps your graphics card use energy smarter. When you're done, click apply changes. These settings work especially well for weak PCs and will make Fortnite run more smoothly. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. 
after downloading install it on your pc once installed you'll see the gear up booster interface the first thing you'll need to do is log in with your facebook or google account on the home tab you'll find all the games installed on your pc if you go to the games tab you can browse thousands of games available for optimization to optimize your network and fps return to the home tab and select the game you want to boost for example i'll select fortnite click the boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you next you'll need to choose your server region select the nearest server for the best connection in my case the middle east server works best after selecting the server close the window now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the middle east choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you i recommend setting it to automatic for the best results finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster this will help you optimize fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher fps Step 5. Use MSI Utility to improve hardware performance for Fortnite on budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Another way to boost your PC's hardware performance and lower input lag is by using a tool called MSI Utility. This tool helps your hardware talk to Windows more efficiently. After downloading it, open the tool. You'll see a list of your PC's hardware. Find your GPU, graphics card. Check the MSI box next to it and set the interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel Graphics. Do the same. Check the MSI box and set interrupt priority to high. Click Apply to save your changes, then close the program. These changes reduce input lag, improve your PC's response time, and make Fortnite run more smoothly. Step 6. Use Throttle Stop to boost CPU performance for Fortnite on budget PCs. To you can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Get even more power from your CPU, we're going to use a tool called Throttle Stop. Go to your Tools folder and open the Throttle Stop folder. Double-click to open ThrottleStop.exe. Once it's open, you'll see different power plans. Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, Battery Mode. Choose the Game Power Plan and check the box for high performance. This gives your CPU the most power for gaming. Next, look at Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings. Do not change anything in these sections. Just check the box for Disable Turbo. This keeps your CPU running at a steady speed and helps it avoid overheating. Click Turn On, then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background while you play Fortnite. This will help your PC stay fast and stable during your gaming sessions. Step 7. Turn off HPET to stop stuttering and FPS drops. There is a system feature called HPET, High Precision Event Timer. To turn off HPET, right-click on the Start button and choose Device Manager. In Device Manager, scroll down and expand System Devices. Look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET, in the list. Right-click on HPET and choose Disable. HPET can sometimes cause choppy or laggy gameplay. Turning it off can help make Fortnite run smoother and reduce FPS drops by removing extra timing delays. If this guide helped you, please click the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more Fortnite and PC performance tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.